Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich. Here we have Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Riverside Resources, John Mark Stoudy. How you doing today, John Mark? Rich, great to be on your show. Excited to have you on the show. Really excited to learn more about the company. Why don't we get right into this, John Mark? Tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Riverside Resources. Well, I'm the CEO of Riverside. I started off in mineral exploration. I got a PhD at the University of Arizona and a master's at Harvard University studying geology and particularly studying the economics. Then I worked in major companies, Rio Tinto and at BHP, doing lots of exploration in copper and gold. So for me, 15 years ago, I left that, founded Riverside, and have grown and created Riverside. And now we're going forward with a great business as we do it as exploration. Fantastic. And congratulations on all your success. I know that you've been with Riverside for 14 years, and we love that. We love companies that have been in the game and understand the business. Can you tell us what are some of the milestones Riverside Resources has set for 2022, which shareholders can look forward to? You bet. I think first is growing our programs in Mexico. We operate for the world's largest mining company, BHP. We are their chosen company to deploy their capital, not our shares, but using their capital to make big discoveries. So for us, milestones for copper in Mexico, also for gold and silver, we have very good projects that we own 100%. We are not paying other people. We're doing the programs and we have partners funding and working with us. We have drilling going on at our Cecilia project. We have drilling going on at multiple different projects. All of that funded by partners that we operate. And lastly, key is in Canada, we're going forward in Ontario. Ontario produces over 40% of all of the gold of Canada. And we're there active with our Geraldton Gold Belt program and our Oaks drill project. There we'll have partners and our own drilling in 2022. So lots of catalysts coming. Wow. Excited to see it all happen. Now you just touched on Mexico. Can you go through the jurisdictions Riverside is in and why you chose those jurisdictions? Mexico is a great mining country. I started working there in 1987 been there a long time and we've been successful, was able to make discovery at Mulatos Gold, that's now a large Alamos Gold operating mine. And we've also had great success at other locations and the whole team has. Mexico is a country where you find things, you can mine it. Mexico is a country that's been a world leader for silver production for five centuries. So we know it's a mining country, so we're there. Also, it's in North America. So it makes it very easy for the US and the Canadian investors to have good transparency, to see how these projects can go forward. And also for fund managers and particularly for corporations to acquire, get the assets they need to grow and Riverside owning them and always having a royalty. The second jurisdiction is Canada, particularly Ontario for us. We have good local knowledge. Our team has worked there in the past, has a good experience there. And secondly, the government in Ontario and in Canada is favorable. It likes to see mining, it's supportive, and we have good access to data. Riverside uses artificial intelligence and other top technologies to find the best projects. So we can leverage off of the historic work and then go forward, unlocking the value for our shareholders. Wow, that sounds fantastic. I love those jurisdictions. I didn't know that Ontario was 40% of Canada's gold. That's it's pretty impressive. The company has about 4 million in the bank and no outstanding warrants. Plus, you have been seeing some insiders buying the stock. Not just and and not a lot of junior mining companies are in the position that Riverside Resources is in. Can you tell us what this means for Riverside Resources? You know, in some ways we see ourselves as a bit of a unicorn to have so much cash in the bank with a low market valuation, yet so much upside. What it means is there's great upside for Riverside. And also we have almost $8 million of partner funding as well going on on the portfolio that we as Riverside shareholders own. So we have a great position where we can get leverage from our own work, but also from partners work. And without having any warrants, it really gives us a good upside and having the cash position means there's not a lot of downside risk. Thus, we see Riverside for 2022 in a great position, really having fun with it. 
so this leads to my next question. How has Riverside Resources built such a solid, fully owned portfolio with so little dilution and operating for 14 years? What's your secret? I think first off is we brought a business when we came to it. I had been working for 15 years building up the knowledge in Mexico and the team of people. Secondly, it's about team, getting the right people on the bus. Riverside is so lucky. We have experts that have been successful in the past and the major companies see that. So they ongoingly fund us. We're now working on our sixth strategic alliance that we have major companies 100% funding the work and Riverside doing the work, retaining a royalty and getting those projects if the major doesn't spend the money all the way through the option. Thus, we forward the portfolio without diluting the share structure. We've been able to work on 62 projects. Riverside can have 14 royalty projects and yet only have 72 million shares out. That's why we call ourselves a bit of a unicorn in that position. Now, we love understanding the fundamentals of a company. Can you go through the capital structure of Riverside Resources for our viewers and how you plan on attracting more institutional alongside more retail investors? You know, it's really interesting. If you look at Riverside, over 40% of our capital is actually European hold. We have 72 wow. million shares out. We also have a nice insider shareholder base. And you know, myself, I've never sold a share. As you mentioned earlier, buying. I continue to buy. I love the company. I'm the only a director of this and our spin-out company, Capitan Mining, that we dividended 100% to our wow. shareholders. We really are a stand for shareholders. I'm a major shareholder. And we have retail. And we really welcome, as we go forward, more institutions that really now can see the quality copper and the quality gold that Riverside's moving in 2022 that fits for the institutional shareholders as we move ahead. If there was one thing that you would want shareholders to know about Riverside Resources today, what would that be? It's commitment. I really am dedicated to this company. You can see in all my posts, I'm always wearing a Riverside hat, wearing a Riverside shirt, and our team is. I think we work together. That commitment that I bring helps everyone else also share that. And so the shareholders know that there's no funny business happening. There's nothing happening behind us that we're not transparent about. We're totally doing the best we can. We're experts. We've been educated, we focused, and now we're deploying our best ideas using our capital, particularly using partners' capital. So there's great upside. So really know that that's what you get when you own Riverside. What is the best way for investors to get in touch with the company if they have any questions about Riverside Resources? You know, we really are open. Please come to our website. That's ridres.com or call us at 778 778- 327-6671. We'd love to speak to you. Reach us out on social media. We really love to interact with people. Super excited to watch you guys grow and evolve. Thank you for your time today. And thank you for joining us. The CEO of Riverside Resources, John Mark Stoddy. Now, before I say goodbye, I just want to remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research, before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, I believe this company is undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, priced right, with very, very small share supply of 72 million shares, money in the bank, and strategically located in very strong jurisdictions for mining, Ontario and Mexico. Thank you for joining us today and teaching us And we're very excited about learning more. And we're going to continue to watch your story grow and evolve. The CEO of Riverside Resources. Thank you for joining us today, John Mark Stoddy. Rich, I look forward to getting you more information and updated. Thank you very much for this event. Hey, my pleasure. For those of you guys that are not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners and we bring them to you first. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everybody. This is Rich from Rich to be Live saying... Have a nice day. We'll see you soon.